Hey, avid learners, Lisa here with another way to gain control over your thoughts, emotions, and responses so you're living a kick-ass life. Today, I'm diving into the world of positive intelligence by sharing a quick self-command technique called PQ reps. Ever heard of PQ reps? No worries if you haven't. I'm here to break it down for you. PQ stands for positivity quotient, which is the ratio of time that you respond to challenging situations with a positive versus a negative mindset and response. PQ reps are 10 second mindfulness exercises that utilize any of your five senses, sight, sound, touch or movement, taste, and smell. With PQ reps, you tune into one of these senses with full attention and notice all the nuances of that sense without it assigning any good or bad or judgment of the experience, just noticing. If you have any thoughts about what you're noticing, just make sure to redirect them to something like curiosity, appreciation, or awe. 10 seconds of noticing is counted as one PQ rep. You can string the same PQ rep type together for multiple reps. 30 seconds is three reps, 60 seconds is six reps, etc. Or you can switch to another type of PQ rep for 10 seconds and continue doing the same or varying PQ reps until you notice a more neutral or even a positive state. You could think of them as mental push-ups for your brain, just like physical exercise strengthens your physical muscles, PQ reps strengthens your mental fitness, and it literally rewires your brain and improves its responses over time. PQ reps are super simple and can be done anytime, anyplace, even with other people around you, which is one of the reasons why I love them. Now, whenever you catch yourself in a negative thought loop like, I can't do this or everything's going wrong, such an idiot, stop, take a deep breath, and start doing some PQ reps. So I'm going to demonstrate a PQ rep with sense of touch. And please do it along with me. Bring your hands together, palms and fingers touching. Start to notice the temperature of your hands as they're placed together. And then begin to slowly pull the fingers and palms of one hand down the fingers and palm of the other hand. And as you're doing that, notice things like the temperature, the feel of the gliding, notice the lines and the ridges of the fingers and the palms of the opposite hand. And then bringing your fingers back up slowly, noticing the sensations as you come up. You could uh, notice the sensations of the receiving hand and then switch to the sensations of the giving hand till they're back together again. And that was several PQ reps. Great job. See how simple that was? Now you can do it again with the visual sense, sound, movement, taste, or smell. With visual, just focus on something you see, an object, nearby or far away. Notice all the nuances of that, the color, the shape, the texture, the variations of shades of color. Uh, with sound, notice the, the, the volume of it, and whether it's close to you or far away. If you're eating something, notice the sensation of chewing and the flavors and the saliva. So a lot of different ways you can use your senses with PQ reps. Now doing PQ reps literally rewires your brain it shifts you from a negative mindset to a more neutral or positive one over time. This helps to build your mental resilience. So you'll handle stress better, you'll boost self-esteem, you'll feel more empowered. And this is what we call the sage state, which I'll share more about in a future video. So the next time you find yourself stuck in negative, sabotaging thoughts, emotions, or behaviors, remember PQ reps are your way out of them. And of course, there's a lot more to PQ reps and positive intelligence, but I'll share some more in future sessions. In the meantime, just keep practicing your PQ reps and watch your responses to challenges and setbacks transform. And if you or someone you care about want or need more personalized help, just reach out to me through my contact information below. Until next time.